Hello everyone, today I'm going over a strange diet mastery point and it does reward a newborn turtle in your home instance as well. And I'm gonna show you where you're gonna turn in each fish once you collect it. And I do highly, highly recommend turning them in the second you catch them, otherwise you risk accidentally salvaging them, which I have done twice now. To get started, we are in Dragon's End and we are at the Juno Hatchery. And just off to the corner is my personal waypoint, which is where we're gonna turn in our fish. Just speak to the turtle. They will be very interested in what you have. Hand over your fish, and this is how you progress the achievement. I'll have timestamps below as I'll go over each fish so that you know which map to find them, what type of fishing hole to look for, what kind of bait, whether you're fishing any time of the day, night or dusk, as well as the recommended fishing power. But before I get started with that, I'd like to go over a few little tips that just might make this a little easier for you. So the first thing I would like to go over is fishing power. The higher your fishing power, the better chance you have of catching a rare fish. Also makes it a little easier because your little marker when you're fighting with the fish gets increased as well. Some ways you can increase your fishing power. You're gonna get 25 fishing power from your fishing rod. Depending on the type of bait, you can get 75, 100, or 150 fishing power. That being said, a lot of the fish we're catching is going to tell us what kind of bait we can use. Your fishing lure. Your basic wooden fishing lure is only 50 fishing power. Your antique is 75, but your amber, jade, or infinite fishing lures are all 100. There are certain types of foods you can eat that will give you 150 fishing power. I tend to go for the white fish sushi as it tends to be the cheapest on the black lion trading post. Of course, we also have leveling up our fishing mastery track. Each level adds a plus 20 to your base fishing power, but also fishing on a full tank will give you plus 100 fishing power when you have some food that you've eaten. There's a heart vendor you can complete in Satan province. That once complete, you can purchase tips on fishing from Fisherman Benyo. It's 1,050 a karma and it gives you plus 50 to your fishing power. And then the last way to up your fishing power is called a fishing party. Without the mastery, you can still get fishing power, but with your mastery unlocked through the skip mastery track, you can get double the fishing power that you would without it. The way the fishing party works is as you catch fish, you'll enter in different tiers. So if you collect one to nine fish, you'll get plus 50 to your fishing power if you have the mastery unlock. And if you don't, you'll only get 25. Up to the max of tier six, where if you catch a 99 fish, you'll get up to 300 more fishing power with the mastery. And with that, you'll get up to 150. Now with fishing party, you can join up with a commander. You'll typically see them in looking for group advertising fishing parties. And what that means is you can jump onto the commander's boat, pull out your fishing rod, and now you have the max stack of 99. Some things to keep in mind is if you leave your skiff or you lose your skiff, you can lose your buff. You only have a few seconds to get back on. And if the instance closes or you change your maps, you will lose it as well. And this is what makes the fishing parties really great is if you need to go and grab some bait on land, you can lose your 99 stack and then go back to your commander and re-grab it. So the recommended fishing power does depend on the map you're in as well as the type of fishing hole. That being said, it is a recommended fishing power. You can most definitely fish over that recommended power and it should make it a little easier for you to get the rare drops. It won't be easier for reeling in your fish because once you hit that recommended fishing power, the marker doesn't get any bigger. You can also fish under the recommended fishing power, but that marker will be a lot harder for you to reel in the fish and your chances for those rare drops are a little harder as well. But it can be done. Let's actually get started in fishing. For our first fish, we'll be catching the halibut. It is found in the Shiver Peak Mountains, such as the Frost Gorge Sound, Bitter Frost Frontier, Dredge Hose Cliffs, and Thunderhead Peaks. It has a recommended fishing power of 450 in Boreal Fishing Holes. It uses shrimpling bait and you can fish it any time, day or night. And as mentioned, we need shrimplings bait, which you can find from fishing merchants in Cantha or in Lion's Arch. We're gonna take the Sanctum Harbor Waypoint and head to my personal marker. And right here we have a merchant for fishing supplies where we can grab bait such as our shrimplings. 
So I'm gonna head to the Dredge Hook Cliffs. I'm taking the Warm Blood Waypoint. And opening our tackle box, we can see I've equipped my shrimplings right here and fishing out of the Boreal Fishing Hole. I currently have a fishing power of 375, but I haven't eaten my food yet. You can see the little green fishing icon under my fishing reel-in marker, as I am now meeting the recommended fishing power. And there is our halibut fish. Next up is the unholy mackerel, found in the Ruins of Ore map, such as Melkor's Leap, Straits of Devastation, and Siren's Landing. You're looking for shore fishing holes, and you're gonna use the leech's bait. This fish can only be found at nighttime, and it has a recommended fishing power of 650. So I'm heading to Siren's Landing and taking the Camp Reclamation Waypoint, and we're headed to the Bloated Beach. And right on my personal marker is also a fishing merchant. So we're gonna grab our jar of leeches. That's all I needed. And then head to shore fishing holes. You can see my little fishing rod icon is green. I do meet the recommended fishing power of 650. I'm actually at 875 because I have the 99 fishing power stacks. Sirens Landing is a great place to join fishing parties. So just double check that looking for group. It will make it that much easier for you. Next up is our slaughter fish, which can be found in Krita maps, such as the Harathi Hinterlands, Gindaran Fields, Queensdale, and Lake Doric. You're looking for lake fishing holes, and we'll be using Minnow's fishing bait. It has a recommended fishing power of 400, and this can only be fished at nighttime. So again, I'll include an event timer below for the day-night cycles for both Cantha and Tyria. For our Minnow's bait, it can be purchased in Lion's Arch, and take the Sanctum Harbor waypoint, and head to my personal waypoint. But you can also buy minnows from fishing merchants in Iron Marches, Echo Vault Wilds, and something. in Arborstone. And here you can see the minnows bait. That's all I needed. I'm gonna head to Gandaran Fields, and I'm gonna take the North Fields Waypoint. And you can see a massive lake all around here, perfect for our lake fishing holes. And there we have it, our slaughter fish. <laughs> our next fish is the Goliath Grouper. It can be found in Meguma jungle maps, such as Radasum, Kaladin Forest, Sparkfly Fen, and Mount Maelstrom. You're looking for salt water fishing nodes, and it has a recommended fishing power of 550. We're gonna be using sardine baits, and this fish can be fished anytime, day or night. For our sardine fishing bait, you can find it in Acantha Fishing Merchants, as well as Radasum and Siren's Landing. Just because I was already in the area, I'm gonna show you the Sardines Fishing Supplies Merchant from Satan Province. Heading from the Village Waypoint and to my personal marker. So I'm gonna be grabbing the fish from Kaladin Forest. I'll be taking the Titan's Staircase Waypoint and fishing in this area right here. And here is our Goliath grouper. Our next fish is the Muscalange. It can be found in Ascalon maps, including Grothmar Valley. It is in lake fishing holes. It takes the minnows bait, and it can only be found during dusk or dawn. I'll include the event timer for the day-night cycle below. It also has a recommended fishing power of 450. For our minnows bait, it can be found in Lion's Arch. We're taking the Sanctum Harbor waypoint and going to my personal waypoint. But you can also buy minnows from fishing merchants in Iron Marches, Echo Vault Wilds, and in Arborstone. So I'm going to be heading to the Plains of Ashford and taking the Lore Claw waypoint. And I will be in the Ascalon Basin. Or if you want a very gorgeous place to fish, you can go to Grothmar Valley and fish out of the Krokotork Emergence Zone. And here is our Muscalange fish. Our next fish is the Dandan. Dan. It can be found in the Isles of Alona, which would be your Domain of Istan, or our Sand Swept Isles, which is where I'm gonna grab the fish. You're looking for offshore fishing nodes, 
and you're gonna be using the fish egg bait. It has a recommended fishing power of 650 and it can only be fished at nighttime. For the fish eggs bait, they can be purchased in Lion's Arch, Iron Marches, and here in Sandswep Isles. Taking the Athloma Waypoint, and right over here is our fishing merchants. And I'm fishing here in the Sandswept Isles in the exact same location, just off of the docks a little bit so I can hit those offshore fishing notes. Our next fish is the sailfish. It can be found in Satan province and you're looking for offshore fishing nodes. You're going to use the sardines bait and it has a recommended fishing power of 200. And this fish can be found any time of day. For our sardines bait, it can be purchased in Cantha, Radisum, or Siren's Landing. Since we're in Satan province anyway, I'm gonna grab the bait here, heading east from the village waypoint. And on my personal marker is a fishing supplies merchant that sells our sardines. Since we're looking for offshore fishing nodes, I'm just gonna be fishing in this area here, south of the village waypoint. Next up is the sword fish found in New Kining City. You're looking for coastal fishing nodes and you'll use the mackerel bait. It has a recommended fishing power of 200, and it can only be fished in daytime. I'll link the event timer below to show the day-night cycles, but keep in mind you're specifically looking for Cantha's day-night cycle as it is a little different from Tyria. As for mackerel, you can actually catch it from fishing nodes. You can look for coastal fishing nodes, mysterious waters, offshore fish, open water, saltwater fish, shore fish, and volcanic fish can all drop mackerel or if you prefer there's certain fishmongers that can sell it as well. You can look for it at the Circus Castaway in Ember Bay, a dock worker in Lion's Arch, Radisum, and I'm gonna show you New Kining City's Carries location. As for our swordfish, I am fishing off of the Kining docks right in front of the Promenade Waypoint. And here is our swordfish. <laughs> our next fish is the dark sleeper found in the Echo Vald wilds. It can be found in either the Lake Lagardus area, Melandru's Hope, or the Warden's Folly. You're looking for grotto fishing holes, and you're gonna use glow worms for your bait. It has a recommended fishing power of 300 and can only be fished in the daytime. For our glow worms bait, they can be purchased in the Echo Vald Wilds. We're at the Mori Village Waypoint and heading to this fishing supplies merchant. So we're gonna head into the little cavern area next to the hero point, and this is where we're gonna find our grotto fishing holes. We have one grotto fishing hole here. And if we go inside here, we have our other grotto fishing hole. And it's nice and peaceful here. And here is our dark sleeper. Next up is the Chambered Nautilus fish found in Dragon's End and more recently in Galea Delve. We're looking for a cavern fishing holes, so in Dragon's End, you're going to head towards the mine site J502, and right on my personal marker is where the cavern is. In Galea Delve, you can head to the Crystal Cavern in the Jade Pool section of the map. or the pool here in the deep section of the map. Now heading back to Dragon's End, just to give you a view, this is the cavern I'm speaking of. 
but I don't recommend gliding in or using your skimmer to get in here because you need a piece of land to pull up your skiff. So just outside this cavern, there's a little spot that you can stand on the little beach and get your skiff out, which is what I end up doing. So I'm just gonna skip forward to when I'm actually on my skiff. And here is our chambered nautilus. Dunkleosteas. I think I pronounced that right. And you can find this fish in the Ember Bay and you're looking for coastal fish nodes. You're going to use lava beetles and it has a recommended fishing power of 700, but you can fish it anytime, day or night. As for the lava beetles, you can buy them directly in Ember Bay. You're gonna head to the Castaway Circus Waypoint, and right over here is our fishing supplies merchant. Where we go wrong? You can see right here, I am at 575 for fishing power, and I need to be at 700. And when I toss out my fishing rod, you can see the little fishing icon underneath where I'm reeling in my fish is actually yellow. So this means my chances of catching rare fish are much lower, but also the little marker with me trying to reel in my fish is smaller as well, making it quite challenging for me to get this fish. But I have spent days trying to get certain fish, even at a fishing power of a 99. And somehow I got this fish first try in one of the hardest places and underpowered. So thank you <laughs> to the RNG gods for making up for all the times I suffered trying to get other fish. And here is our last fish and we're going to turn it in and get our little siege turtle for our home instance, as well as our mastery point. And if I go to my home instance, here is our newborn siege turtle hatchling. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that was helpful. And I don't know, maybe see you around.